What are your thoughts and on, on the condition of our border now? And what kind of ideas or, or plans have you been thinking about to resolve the issue? Well, we've got a problem with two borders. Most, one that we're concerned about here in Texas, obviously, is our border along with the uh, country of Mexico. But we've got to remember, we've got a uh, several thousand mile border with Canada yeah. that is just wide open for people to sneak across to, people that want to do us harm. But we're concerned here in Texas with the southern border, obviously. Uh, we hear conservatives all the time saying, we need to build a wall, build a wall. I'm not in favor of that. And here's why. A wall is an expensive undertaking, and I do not think it would be successful. Mm -hmm. And so, because, and then again, you've got to encroach upon uh, private land to do so. My thought about the border is this. I am appalled that our government has posted signs as far as 80 miles or more inland, at least this is, and it was in Arizona that I saw, warning U.S. citizens about going into an area because it was dangerous because of the drug cartels and the human trafficking going on through there. Sovereign United States territory. And citizens are being told, don't go in there. And it's within 20 miles of a major interstate. Hmm. And in Texas, we're having the same problem. We have ranchers and people living down near the border, even you know some miles in, whose property and lives are endangered. And yet our government will not take steps to protect them, and that is the fundamental responsibility of the federal government. And when the states try to do it, they get sued. And yet the Constitution says that if there is an invasion and the general government cannot respond in time to save the state or to protect it, the states have the authority to do so. And this is what I, kind of, I consider an invasion. So what do we do about it? Uh, I don't think a wall is the answer. I think we need to increase our border, our border security staff, beef them up considerably. If we have to use uh, National Guard or our own military troops on the border to patrol it, we do so. I think we need to open up bilateral talks with Mexico because, bless their hearts, the northern part of the Mexican provinces within their own country, their people are being slaughtered because of this mess. We need to talk with them and say, look, we do not want to send troops and invade your country, but can we not work together somehow where our troops and your troops, our police forces and your police forces, could work on both sides of the border to control this? That's being a good neighbor because we want our citizens to be safe as well as we want your citizens to live in safety and without fear of all the bloodshed going on. Hmm. It goes on both sides, and there's got to be a spirit of cooperation there because you know good and well that the good citizens on the northern part of Mexico want to live in peace and security just as much as our citizens on that, in the southern part of our border. And so there's got to be some way to cooperate with them where it would not be us sending in troops but with the understanding that we will work together jointly on both sides of the border to bring that violence under control and let people know that, listen, you come into our side of the border, you are subject to being arrested, and if you act violently towards us, you can expect violence in return. Mm 